All right, we are going to talk about the most important habit to build in your weight loss journey. And uh, so a couple real quick things. One, this is the wrap up of the first week of the no scale habit challenge that we're doing in the Half Size Me community where we choose to stay off the scale for uh, one month and we choose to laser focus in on our habits. And so I declared the things I wanted to do was to hit a calorie range of 14 to 1700, track every single thing I eat, weigh everything I eat, um, obviously in lieu of restaurant food if we go out, um, or not that, um, can be consistent with exercise, consistent with water, and be 100%, get 100% of everything tracked. So not to say, oh, that piece of gum's only five calories, I'm not gonna track it. Nope, I'm gonna track everything. So as I was progressing through the week, I realized that if I was having a small thought in my head that was counterproductive, you might also face this exact same thought. As I was honestly tracking every single thing, weighing every single thing, there were several days I was outside of my calorie range of that 14 to 1700. Over the course of the week, I got four out of seven days. So a little bit more than half. But I said to myself, what's more important, Heather, putting numbers on paper or in an app that are not genuine or being 100% honest with yourself and what you're actually doing? And it's always being 100% honest with yourself no matter what. That is the most important habit. Like if we're talking, you know, the one that's going to get you to any goal that you want. It's 100% honesty with yourself. So the reason I'm sharing, I'm sharing this is because I often see people leaving things off their food log or not including things or kind of underestimating because they really want to be compliant with their points, with their calories, whatever it is that they're trying to aim for, or they just opt out of tracking altogether because they don't want to see a number that they think is not the target. But I want to turn that around and say, has that ever served you? Like truly, has dropping the ball on tracking served you? Has not being 100% honest with yourself really ever served you? No, it's never going to allow you to make progress. It was actually in my journey when I said it's more important for me to be honest with myself than it is for me to lose weight. <laughs> it's more important for me to be honest with myself than for me to make progress on the scale. I know that sounds shocking, but that really was what I focused on. It's that self-honesty and that willingness to not put things down on paper that are not real just to satisfy that need inside of me to be the good student, right? To turn in the paper on time, to have everything checked off. No, it's better for me to be totally honest and have three days out of the week that I don't hit my calorie target. That's where we want to put all of our focus. So this week went really well. Uh, Other than the calorie target, my nibbling has decreased. That's the other benefit of being honest, by the way. When you are honest and you track everything and you don't feel like you have to kind of sneak stuff in, you will show up and track 100%. So just want to encourage you in your journey, if you were to say to me, Heather, what's the most important habit? What's the most important behavior for people who are successful at losing weight and keeping it off? It's being honest with yourself. It's not telling little fibs. It's not stopping a process because you don't like what the outcome is going to be. It's sticking to the process and literally writing everything down and saying, oh, today was a 2,000 calorie day. It was not what I intended, but I showed up 100% honest and tracked everything. You will feel better because you're showing up consistently. I hope you have a great week and I'll talk to you soon.